Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Paint with Josh. Get ready to have some fun, right? Get ready to have some fun. I'm going to show you what we've done on our canvas here. I took a white canvas. Let me show you exactly what it looks like, because I never like to hide anything from you guys, so I'm going to show you. We took our uh, 15 by 30 inch professional series Pro 3 canvas, right? And painted it with black gesso. That's all we did. Took our black gesso, looks a lot like this from Liquitex. Liquitex black gesso, acrylic medium. It's, uh, it's not just black acrylic paint. That doesn't work. The gesso, there's something special about it that helps it spread out and dry uh, evenly. And then we took our Bob Ross liquid clear. Looks just like that. Love this stuff for black canvases. And if you don't, if you can't get this, or if you don't know where it is, and you see linseed oil at the store, pick up linseed oil. It's it's a very good uh, comparable thing to use. Now you can see we have some color on the canvas, and you already saw me wash one brush. So look at the other brush here. A lot of dark color, right? I took crimson and blue and mixed them along the whole canvas. So we're gonna have blue and crimsony, purple, pinks everywhere. It's gonna be awesome. And the way we like to wash the brush. I have YouTube shorts about it. I have TikTok uh, videos about it. We like to dip it into our thinner, which isn't all the way up, right? It's all the way down here. And that way, even though it looks like I'm dunking in the whole brush, we're not really. We get the tip of it in, then we pull it up in that empty space and we spin it. And that way it keeps all of the spray inside the cup and then it falls back down into our thinner, right? Now, I like to call it thinner, but it's actually odorless mineral spirits. And that way it doesn't stink you out of your whole house. And I just got a brand new jug. It looks like Clean Strip. The company that I like to use has changed their packaging, so it looks a little bit different now. But that's the stuff I like. Odorless mineral spirits, not too stinky, and it really cleans the brush well. Now, after you've dunked it in and spun it and shook it off into the can, then beat the devil out of it onto your bucket, right? You want to see what the bucket looks like? You're like, what is he doing down there? So it's a five-gallon bucket, and it's got a golf ball basket down at the bottom of it, right? That's the only thing I had in my garage when I very first started painting. I was like, okay, I need to clean the brushes somehow. I don't want to spend any more money. I've already spent all the brushes. I bought the paints. I got the palette. I got the easel. I got the canvases. Lots of money invested already, right? So I went out to my garage and I said, uh, okay, I bet you I could use this. I dumped out all the golf balls. I looked at the bottom. There's like a little crisscross action. Give me a room to, to beat the devil out of it. And I told myself eventually I'll come back, you know, and buy like the proper brush cleaning kit thing, whatever we're you know whatever we're supposed to use. And uh, four years later, seven hundred thousand fans later, I'm still using that little golf ball basket, and I'll probably use it my entire career. I love that little thing. Oh, I love that little thing. So you can see what we've done to the canvas. I've explained the uh, what we've actually gone through, and I'll show you. We have our Prussian blue, a lizard and crimson. That we've already mixed onto the canvas over here. Then we're going to use midnight black and titanium white, and just try to stick to these four colors. For these purple and pinky paintings, I like doing just four color, right? I don't want to go through all these different colors. I just stick to a little, little limited palette painting. So we're going to get a fan brush, and we're going to put our liquid clear away. So we don't want that to get in the way, right? You guys are going to tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwich, or what's your favorite pizza? What's your favorite food? Just tell me that. Some people go, I don't really like sandwiches. Okay, what's your favorite food then? You like a pizza? You like, uh, what do you like, sushi? Everybody likes sushi. That's, that's an easy question, right? What's your favorite sushi should be my question. And then we get loads of comments roll through. So you can see I've taken my, let me get in the way here. Oh, I'm gonna reach over to the cake pan. I've taken my uh, fan brush, we've loaded it up with paint just like this. And then I've grabbed the Paint With Josh custom cake pan. That's not really custom, I just put stickers on it. But uh, it's an eight inch by two inch cake pan, right? And um, it's perfect for making giant size moons. You guys know the moons I like to make. And so I planned on maybe having my moon here. So initially I took crimson and blue and kind of mixed them in that little circle right there. And now we're gonna sort of place the moon, but I don't wanna do the whole moon. I'm just gonna do the right hand side. And that way we can have this big old cliff come down with our giant waterfall that we're about to paint, right? So let's go around here, just very lightly. Same amount of pressure all the way around, keeping it tight to the pan. Maybe we won't even have to finish it all the way. Look at all those different colors. There's blue, there's purple, there's pink, back to purple and blue over here, all wherever you put your colors underneath, that's where they're gonna shine through, right? And look, even though we loaded the brush, you know, maybe a, an eighth of an inch down, we only used the paint on the top of the bristles, right? We didn't even use the paint on the sides. So, it doesn't matter how much paint you have in your brush, 
right? You're only really using the bristles for some things. And that brings us to the three P's of Paint with Josh, right? So what is the first P, guys? What's the first P of Paint with Josh? Does anybody know? You might be new, you might be wondering, what the heck is this guy talking about? First P of painting? All right, so we're gonna give a shout out. Your favorite artist. Well, I don't know, I'm my favorite artist, but your favorite artist knows paint, right? Gotta have the paint. The amount of paint on the brush determines how thick it is, how crisp our lines are, right? How bright it's gonna show. And then what are we gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about the second P of Paint With Josh, which, let me load up the brush, and then I'll come back there and look. Don't fire your one in too quick. If I miss the, if I miss them because you shot it in too quickly, that's not my fault. I look at the first comment I see that has the correct answer and I give you a shout out, okay? So the second P of Paint With Josh is, just in case anybody doesn't know, you guys are gonna tell me right now, pressure. There it is, Karen Kitty Kuchin right there. You get the follow from Paint With Josh because you know the pressure, right? Now, what I'm gonna do here is taking our, our fan brush. It's sort of hard for me at this angle because I don't wanna get my big old head in the way and you guys miss out. All right, so we're gonna line it up on the edge, kind of pull down these little downward strokes like this, trying not to go outside the moon. You definitely don't wanna sneak outside the moon on this guy, right? Grabbing it at the edge, pulling it down, a little bit of pressure. The more pressure we have, the more it's gonna drag. And all we did was add white. Look at all these colors. Where'd all these colors come from? If we just added white paint to our brush, right? How did all these colors pop out onto the canvas? Well, I told you a few minutes ago, you should have been here right at the beginning, right? We, uh, we put our, our crimson, our blue, and uh, sorry, our crimson and our blue, and we just mixed them, crisscrossed them all over the canvas. So there's areas of crimson, there's areas of blue. And as we go with our little, our little fan brush, and we drag with our amount of pressure, right? Gotta have pressure. The right pressure will do everything for us. It'll either make something go way too long, like this, watch, wrong pressure, pull it way too far, right? You don't wanna go that far. The right amount of pressure, just very lightly, right? And the only reason I did that is because we're gonna come in with this big old cliff anyway, so it doesn't really matter what's happening over here. There we go, stay around the edge. Very nice, very smooth. Trying to fill in that little space and just have it blend in. There we go. Remember, I like having dark areas, I like having light areas, all sorts of stuff. And we didn't add any more paint to the brush yet, right? We've only done it one time. And look at the amount of, we can, you can literally build a planet with just a small amount of paint on your brush, right? Literally build a planet with that paint. I'm gonna go around the edge, just trying to reach that bright line, and my hand doesn't wanna turn that way, so let's use it as like a pivot point and use the other hand like this. Maybe I can see what the heck I'm doing. There we go, okay, just a little line around there. And then this extra bright side, it almost looks like an atmosphere if we were out in the, uh, out in space somewhere. It doesn't have to be Earth's moon, right? We're painting a planet out here, just a moonrise. Doesn't have to be on Earth, it could be anywhere in the galaxy. So I never like, I was never able, and it's not even that I don't like to do it, I was never able to get the patches on the moon, our moon, right, right? Like I don't, Every time I do it, it looks like a mess. I'm like, that doesn't look right. I go outside, I look at the moon, I go, that doesn't look right. So guess what? I stopped trying to paint it realistically. And now we just fill it full of loads of color. And guess what? Everyone loves it even more than just a plain old white moon up here with some stuff, right? Get all these gorgeous colors. That's what Paint with Josh is about. A lot of colors. A lot of colors. All right, we're gonna come down here, just mixing and mixing and mixing, trying to stay inside of our line, right? Don't want to go outside the lines on this one, guys. We practiced it in like second grade. How to color inside the lines, right? Oh, maybe, maybe second year of preschool. How to color inside the lines. You gotta do it. Now watch as we come over here, we've got all that blue. Okay, we'll come from this side and all that blue with the smallest amount of paint, right? We don't didn't add any new paint. God, my shoulder and my neck are just killing me, you guys. Uh, I need to go get a massage or something. This Bengay is not working. It's not doing its job. All right, we're gonna come over here, just very lightly. Again, we're gonna cover this side of the moon anyway. It doesn't really matter. Ooh, there we go. And very lightly blend it, blend it, blend it. And then we're gonna come hit it with the two inch brush. So don't worry, but yeah, I was never able to get the moon splotches correct. And I understand they're not, it doesn't have to be a perfect thing, right? I say that to you guys all the time. It doesn't have to be perfect. But when you're looking at something as iconic as the moon, it sort of has to be perfect, right? You can't just do it and be like, oh, well, that's it, but it doesn't look like our moon. 
That's why I don't call these our moon out in the sky, right? I like to paint spacey stuff sometimes when we get out there among the stars and just sit out here and paint. Very lightly pushing that edge, that bright line all the way to the edge. See our pressure? It's just like a sequin pillow. You can come up here and just push the paint over and slide it to the edge. Leaving that little bright line, trying to make it as even as possible all the way around. All right. And anybody, if you're just tuning in, if you haven't seen, if you were watching the show yesterday and you saw what happened or you heard what happened with Bailey, she came bursting into the room and said she had got nail glue in her eye. Glue in her eye and it was sealed shut. So I put a TikTok about it. It's one of my very first videos. You can go over and find it. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for all the love and uh, all the comments. And I just appreciate you guys so much for caring about her as much as I care about her. You know what I mean? Just awesome. And again, look, we don't even have to finish the whole moon, but if you wanted to, it would be that easy. Now we've got a big old lumpy moon, huh? Ah, no, what's happening to the moon? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We always take it and we're gonna cover over with this big old cliff. I really only wanted about that much of the moon, right? So it doesn't matter what happens over here. We take it and we mix it and we pull it and we blend it and we soften it, right? And if you've never done painting before, you've never painted, or if you've never tried a big moon, right? You need that third P of paint with Josh. Does anybody know the third P? The third P gets a shout out coming in right now. Anybody, anybody in the comments know the third P? Oh, my neck hurts so bad. Practice, Becca, you're getting a follow and a shout out. Becca Bobbitt. Everybody get over there and follow Becca because she is smart. She knows the third P of Paint with Josh and that's pressure, uh, practice. Sorry, practice, right? If you don't have enough practice at doing anything, how can you expect to be good at it, right? So get out there, get your canvases, Practice your paint, practice your pressure, right? All these little things, watch this. Again, we don't need this side, but you could pretend anything was happening. You could drag the moon around and put like a, oh, that's a good idea for another painting for today. I plan on doing, I don't know, two, three paintings today. We're gonna do this one, then we're gonna eat dinner, then we're gonna come back and do more. So let's see, if you wanna see me paint later on, we're gonna be painting a lot, probably over on TikTok, and we'll, we'll stream them to YouTube too. I, I figured I might as well stream them to YouTube as well because everybody always wants to see what we did and how we did it. So might as well just start putting everything on YouTube every day. So the YouTube content's about to skyrocket up, right? But yeah, you can name this painting and you can buy it over in my Etsy store. Let me show you just a smaller version of one we did last night that sold, right? This is a little 16 by 20 inch version. And we put a seascape at the bottom. This one here is just gonna have, it's not gonna be this. It's just gonna have the top, right? We won't have the ocean at the bottom of this one. It's gonna have a big old waterfall that falls off and a lot of misty clouds and stars and different stuff. So just focus on the top side and that's what this one's gonna look like. So if you wanna buy this one, you can go over to my Etsy store. It's already available and waiting for you. If you type in the search bar, paint with, uh, sorry, if you type in the search bar, uh, sorry, hang on. Go to your browser and go paintwithjosh.etsy.com. Hit go, right? It'll open up my Etsy store. Now there's a little search bar. Type in 752. Seven? Seven, five, two, and that will pull up this painting right here. And it's 30% off with free worldwide shipping. So anywhere in the world, you'll be able to get it. I think it brings the price down to like 249, so it's just under 250. 250 US dollars American, right? Let's see. And that will get you shipping with the tracking, insurance, all that stuff. And uh, it's just going to be fantastic. It's going to be awesome, guys. Really going to be awesome. So I'm going to spray in a few little stars right over here. And again, follow me over on YouTube. We're literally, if you're watching on TikTok, I'm simul streaming it over to YouTube as well. And that way, you'll be able to watch it forever and ever and ever because these TikTok streams disappear once they're over, right? We're going to come up here above our heads and just start flicking in some far off little stars, but not too many. Not too many at all. If you have too many, it shines too brightly, right? Just a couple flick here or there. Maybe there's some underneath. Maybe there's some down here. Where do you want to go with your stars, right? You can make this whole thing like a galaxy or like a, a an eroding uh, moon, something like that. And all we did was take a little bit of liquid white and mix it with our titanium white. Titanium white is very thick. Liquid white is very runny. So we mixed them and that way it wouldn't splatter off too much. And we could kind of control the amount that comes off, right? Very cool. Just like that. A couple little easy stars, just spray them in. 
nothing to it, right? Now we're gonna make up a big old giant amount of our color for our mountain. And do you guys know the three colors that I like to use most? I mean, we're only using four colors today, but do you know the three that I like to use most to make a shadow or a mountain or a tree shadow, Send me anything, any dark color? You guys know what those colors are? Can you type them in the comments for me? If you know which colors I'm about to tell you about, and I'll give you a follow. We're gonna take a, I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna take a quick drink. I'm gonna read some comments. And Andy, the first person I see that knows the three colors that I'm about to mix up to make my shadow, you're gonna get a follow. So let's see, let's take a look, see, take a look, see. Purple, blue, black, no, no. Red, blue, yellow, no. Crimson, blue, white, and blue, close. Blue, oh, that's close enough. Extra frosting, he said blue, red, and black. It's actually blue, blue, crimson and black, but it does look red, so I'll give you that. The, the judges will give you that answer. I gave you a follow for it, too. Thank you for that, right? You have to tell everybody that when they go, what colors did he mix up to make his mountain? We go black, right over here, crimson, that red color, and our blue. Scrape it down into this ginormous pile of paint. You would definitely wouldn't want to go put that right straight up onto the mountain, right? We're going to mix it up down here, and it'll turn from all three of those different shades into one very deep, dark, purpley shade. So the person that did say purple, red, and black on, uh, on uh, TikTok over there, you're close. You're close. Very close, right? Because the, the blue and the crimson make a purpley color. And that's what we're trying to go for. We're trying to achieve this very deep, dark purple color. And a lot of times I'll call it black, right? But we all know my black is up here. This is not black. It's a mixture. But my brain goes, oh, it's black. Black. <laughs> so my big dummy head says black, right? So it's actually our deep, dark purple. I'll call it our dark mix or our dark color, right? Our dark color that we mixed up. And let's see, do you guys want to know how to make it with a palette knife? Or should we show you how to make it with a, uh, with a fan brush or something like that? A lot of people have problems using the palette knife. And the fan brush seems much easier to people. So which would you choose? You want to choose right or you want to choose left? You want to choose door number one over here for the fan brush or door number two over here for the palette knife? Door number one, door number two. Which one do you guys want to choose? I want to see some comments here. Let's see some comments. Which one do you want to learn how to use better? And I'll show you how to use it better. Let's see. Number two, some people want to see the knife. We got two over here on YouTube. Both, I said. I mean, we could use both, but it's, it's too much for this painting. Left, let's see, number two. It's kind of split right down the middle, guys. You guys want to see the, the knife and the fan brush equally. Hmm. The knife and the fan brush eagle. Okay, well, we've got a lot of twos. And I showed you last night how to make the mountain with, um, with the fan brush. So I'll show you how to make this one with the palette knife, right? And all we're gonna do is scrape up a bit of that dark color, just a good amount of it, a good eighth of an inch. Like you definitely wouldn't wanna drop that onto your carpet, right? Just a nasty full amount. And let's say our bit, our little thing came in, started covering over. And all I'm doing, watch this, is just kind of smushing over little bit of our oh yeah covering over the color right now wherever we pull it down is going to be covered by this big crazy mountain and of course we don't need to cover all of this dark color all the way down to the bottom of our canvas right we're going to have it kind of fall off into this misty ethereal type of little floating waterfall mountain thing i mean if you don't even finish the bottom you could literally call it like space you know what i mean we could just have some far off little bits of galactic cloud back in here all depends, what do you guys wanna see? What does the buyer wanna see, right? If somebody was gonna buy this painting, what would they wanna see in it? And to that, to that effect, if you do buy this painting, you get to tell me more about what to put in it, right? So if you go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com, chuck in this big old monster back here. Just like that, that's where our waterfall is gonna come down. So I'm scraping off all the bit of color wherever I want my little water to start crashing. It's gonna go right over the edge, right there, right through the thing. It'd be very cool. Like it just dribbled up and came down. And then I'm gonna put like a little projection out here, just with the color that we scraped up, right? Put a little projection out there. That way we'll give our little water a bit to flow through. Nobody knows what the outside of this thing looks like anyway, right? So it's not about uh, having anything worrying, you know, we could be out in space, it doesn't matter. We can come up even higher if we wanted to. Let's go even further. Let's just go, oh yes, let's go even further. All, right, all about our perspective, what's happening, where the water's coming from. 
kind of flowing down, right? Changing our little angles, just pulling that big old thick paint every which where. And that's where it's gonna come out of. Perfect, excellent. We can hide it behind some bushes and stuff, right? So just pulling the paint down, leaving little things very lightly so you have differences. So when we come back to highlight it, then we can you know, grab up all in different places. Very cool. Now we can come out here with our one inch brush and start to pull it down, right? softening it down, letting it fall into nothing. And then we'll come back with some clouds over the top of it, right? But just straight down. Our angles are most important. You can't just take it, pull it out to the side. That's going to make it look weird, right? Maybe there was a little action to the side, but then it came down. And this guy back here, he's up there like that. You know what I mean? You, you can't just have it go every which way. You don't want it to be random. If our waterfall is going to come down like that, slide down right through the thing. Maybe we have a little bit of texture release over here back over there and then we can decide what we want the mountain to look like we're just kind of softening it down the smallest bit pulling it back to the deep darkness leaving this your original color you don't have to do anything right and over here you can darken it up to hide that little piece of moon trying to shine through and just add a little bit more paint or it could almost look like a willow tree if you had if you left it like that and had it uh, kind of shine through to the moon in the back i mean that's a good idea for another painting Right? Nobody steal my ideas. I gotta, you got to watch me do them on video at least. And we can have a different things come up, different little levels, different bits of rock. How far do you want your waterfall to go? All the way down? Bring your mountain all the way down, right? I mean, we could. Why not? It all depends on what we want to see, how far the paint we have here. So, I really want my waterfall to kind of shine like bright blue. So wherever we drug through that little bit of paint, let's add a little bit of blue right over the top however far down you want it to go. My mind's gonna be about that. And then the fan brush will light it up in different areas, right? Maybe it went all the way down, who knows? Let's take some more of our dark color. We start to add in different things. I wanted to leave a lot of sky in this one. Shoot, maybe we do put in a seascape down here at the bottom. Looks kind of cool. It just looks kind of cool, right? All this crimson down here, I don't wanna cover that. And that guy just fell off into nothing. We could put some clouds over him. We could do whatever we wanna do. And that's the best part about doing it on the dark canvas is you're trying to uh, not to cover everything. You don't want to cover all of the bits of, of dark original canvas or the bit of undercoat that we put underneath. Just like so. So tell me where you're watching from. Wow, that already looks like a waterfall, just the, the way that the glare is hitting that bit of paint on, uh, <laughs> because we've got that thick blue right here and the way that the lights are hitting it on um, TikTok, it looks like a, it's already a waterfall there. That's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. So let's do something different. And let's take this brush and we'll take a little liner brush. We're gonna come into our odorless mineral spirits and into our pile of paint. I'm gonna be right back. I went to this pile of paint up here, making it, I have to hold the palette very flat because it will run off and get onto my shoes. It's so drippy, very drippy amount of paint, right? And that way it comes off of the brush easily and out here, obviously you don't want it to be so runny wet that it's like water up here. So you have the, the right amount of consistency. And then maybe, who knows, there was like a, a little tree lived out there, trying to live out there anyway, at the tip top of this waterfall. Little things, we don't have to have too many branchy details because you're gonna have a big bunch of like bright pink flowers and all sorts of stuff off the top of the guy. A couple little branches, all we need, right? Now we're just gonna try to not cover up all of those branches that we just made, okay? And by doing that, let's go into our crimson, straight up crimson, just dabbing it into right into the thick pile so we have a good amount on the end, and that'll leave a little bit of texture up here. All right, we'll come cover over a bit of our moon, a bit of our tree branches, but we don't wanna cover everything. See that, just kinda go around the tree branches, and all of a sudden, you got your cool little tree out there without even having to do much. Now, let's go over here. We're gonna mix up our, uh, our crimson on the other end of the brush and dab it into our white. Just little bits, little bits. Depends on how much white, depends on how bright it gets for you, right? Maybe come up here, a couple little bright areas on our tree. Don't wanna cover up every single thing, right? The more we dab them in, the more they'll kind of dissipate, mix in with that darker color. But you don't wanna cover up all of our, our shadows and stuff. That's not the best, right? You leave all those deep, dark shadows. And if you do end up covering too many shadows, come back in here with our darker paint Adding them in where you think you need them, right? Where do you think it's gonna get lit? Where do you think it should be a little bit darker? Come back with our brighter color. Couple little bits over there, a couple little bits over here. Right? Just a few little things here and there. 
Nothing too crazy. It's not the focal point anyway. No one's going to be out there looking at that tree branch. They're really not. You're going to be looking at our gorgeous little bit of waterfall out there, right? Don't want to make our tree too big either. It'll be too big and it'll fall over. Actually, if it's too big in my mind, then the trunk should actually be a bit bigger because it's got to hold up all that extra weight, right? A bit bigger of a tree trunk in there. Now, what's going to be cool over here is let's do another one. We only did one in that first painting. So let's put another one off over here. Maybe he's a little smaller little guy, a little closer. Doesn't have to be so full. And you don't have to add branches to it if you don't want to. A lot of the times I don't like adding branches. For whatever reason, they just, it, I feel like I'm plopping over beautiful, colorful details, right? But when you do, you add these very cool things and all this depth and stuff, right? That you might have missed before. A couple little branches off this guy. He's a little bit more branchier. Right? Now, let's wash this brush off because it's all contaminated with all those colors that we used before. And we're going to use the same colors again, right? It's not going to be, we only have four colors today, so it's not like we're not going to be using those colors, but we don't want them to be all diluted already, right? We want to start fresh. So let's wash the brush, beat the devil out of it, right? Come back in here, grabbing up our crimson, just dabbing straight into it again, right into the pile. Almost gone through the entire pile, just dabbing into these guys. Then again, Let's cover over a bit of our other guy. Not trying to cover all of our branches up though. And just like that, it's even a brighter color. It's different. You don't have to do much. A right? couple teeny tiny little dabs of white. Maybe we pop them in on the top up here. Like this guy's getting lit up. A few little things, right? Then we can go over it with the crimsony side and darken them down. Just very light little taps. Very light little taps. And do that up on this guy too. Very cool, right? It's like a little cherry blossom tree out there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. You have little bits of light and all sorts of things hanging off of this guy. Oh, just like you got, the moonlight's trying to wrap around. It's just so pretty. Remember, you can buy this painting if you go over to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. You can buy it before anyone else and you can name it as we're going along, right? Start dropping your names in the comments and that way you won't forget when I ask when it comes time to name this guy. You won't forget the name that you had suggested, right? And again, if you want to know, I, I, can't, I can't see the comments all the time, guys. So if you want to know where to find the paintings, go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com and you can buy these paintings. Uh, they come with free international shipping, uh, domestic shipping, tracking, insurance, everything, right? And this one should be about 249 uh, US dollars, just about, and it'll get it to you anywhere in the world. So here we go, we're gonna take our white. We already have our blue color up here for our water, right? So we'll take our white. Let's drop in our waterfall first, and then we'll go back and highlight this little bit of mountain back here. All right, so we take this white. Actually, we need a little bit more. Let's get some more white. Here we go. We got a long way to fall in this guy. We got a long way to fall, right? So we'll load it up a little bit more up to whatever this piece is called. You guys know what this is called? The little bit, like the squeezy bit that holds all the stuff in? I don't know what it's called. So we're going to take it up here. Say we came back. That's kind of neat. What if there was like a little mini waterfall? right there, right? Just the teeniest little bit. And then we can slide that guy just the slightest bit backwards. Okay, very cool. And then all the stuff comes out, right? So we're gonna grab it. We already see where our line is, where we put that bright blue paint and it's gonna react and hit with this waterfall. So we're gonna come out and down and try not to hit our easel on the way down and stop us, right? So light pressure, not trying to smush it, not trying to force the whole brush in and pull it down. Just lightly pulling it down and whatever white interacts with the blue, it will start to change. Sometimes it won't even pick anything up as you get down here. It'll be very, very, very light, right? So you guys ready to go? Ready to come up here? I mean, are you guys ready to go? You gotta tell me if you're ready. Are you ready? Okay, somebody said yeah. But are, are the rest of you? No, I'm just messing. I'm messing around. Okay, we're gonna take the brush just like this. We're gonna come up here. You gotta go over to the side and then let it fall, baby. Over to the side, down. Just like that. So I picked it up in different places. You get little bits of water, little bits of different things, and look at how, oh my, look at how much, just how dark it made that brush. See that, just on the one side. Where are we at over? Sorry guys on YouTube, I, I you never put you guys close enough. So look at all the amount of color right there that it picked up off of that mountain. That's crazy, all right? So I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it to this section, the other white bit. I'm gonna come over here, angling the brush away so I don't touch any other of the white, white pieces. All down again. 
you can change. Maybe it came down, maybe it hit somewhere, maybe yours bounced off, but mine's gonna be just like that, right? We're gonna make it a little bit brighter and have it come down. Oh, guys, this right, we're gonna grab up here very lightly and then let it flow, right? Here we go. It's gonna lighten up in different places. The more you do it, right? Have it come out and it's gonna start to mix in. The more you do it, the more it's gonna mix in. So be careful what you want it to look like. Right, got our little place back here where we pulled over and slid down. How far do you want yours to go, right? All the way down here. That's pretty wicked. Right? You can let it go forever, whatever's feeding this little thing. And then we can decide, what do you want to put down here? Do you want to put a pool at the bottom? Do you want to put, oh, I don't know, you want to put some spacey clouds? What do you want to put on this guy? Very cool. You can just let this thing fall forever. Or you can take your waterfall and just let it, like if this is a floating mountain out in space, you just have it float off into the distance like it's a little bit of mist, just floating into nothing. So guys, what do you think of that? Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? Hey, we just got a sail, I think. Who is this? Let's see. Oh my good, of course you would. Of course you would. Miss Cosmic Lighthouse has just purchased this painting. And she's just amazing. She came and stole it right out from underneath you guys when you weren't even looking. Weren't even paying attention. She came and took it from you. <laughs> Very cool. You can almost twist it. You can do all sorts of stuff. Thank you, Cosmic Lighthouse. You are literally the best. So this painting is going to go live in uh, Colorado, I believe, is where she is. So, very cool. And uh, I've got lots of paintings in Colorado. I've actually got paintings all over the United States. Canada, uh, Australia, Austria, uh, the UK, everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. And the only places, the only two places, two or three places, I think, that are, aren't in the United States, like Delaware, New Hampshire, and uh, Montana, and Mississippi, I think. Or Missouri. One, no, it's Missis no, I can't remember which one it is. Maybe it's five. There's five places I haven't shipped to in the United States. And it's those five states. So if you live in New Hampshire, Delaware, um, uh, what I say? Montana, Mississippi, or Missouri, I think those are the five. I would love to get a seal from you because then I'll be able to complete my, my state map, right? That's the, always the goal. You start a state map. You know how long I started that map ago? Like four years ago. I've sold... You know, multi, I've sold like 50 paintings to Virginia and uh, all over the, the Midwest, and tons to Oregon and California, of course, right? But those couple little teeny tiny states are just eluding me. Just eluding me. So tell me where you guys are from. Where are you watching from? Let's come back. We'll read some comments. Give some shout out. Brute. It's okay. You'll get one eventually. That's okay. I, got, I have other ones and I'm going to be doing more today, right? You guys want to see more of this? I can do more of these ones. I've got another one. I planned on doing this. I didn't even tell you guys because I always forget. There's another exact same size and shape. And I was going to do the same painting. If this one sold, I was going to do the same painting in blues. So we're going to have blue and black, maybe some green. So keep your hopes up. If you want to get a painting that looks like this, but just have it in a different color, I'm going to be doing that later on. We got Oklahoma. We got Texas. We got, uh, thank you, Tracy. Appreciate it. Florida. Need a painting. Let's see. Teach me how to get one. So go to paintwithjosh.etsy.com and you can purchase any one that we have available. Right? I'm trying to find one that we still have available. Okay, over there, I see it, I see it. All right, since we sort of went viral, we've uh, sold out of many of the paintings. We have a few old, old, old paintings that aren't as good. And so I reduced the price down and we call them Paint with Josh Classics, right? But this painting right here, it's, a, it's nice and dry, already finished, already dry, ready to ship to you. And um, it's a little 16 by 20 inch purple, green, blue seascape. It's number 744. So if you, know, if you search in, the, in, the Etsy, uh, in my Etsy store, if you search the search bar for number 744, you'll find this gorgeous little painting. And this one's available for sale. And we have a few other ones. And then I've got one that's sort of in limbo right now. So the, per the person had purchased it, but I don't think their credit card thought it was a legitimate purchase, right? So this one is, is, it might pop back into the store automatically. If the credit card company rejects their purchase, then it will pop back into the store and this one will be available again. We just did this one like two days ago. And this one is number 749. So if you ever search the store for 749, then that one pops up, you better get it quick because that means it just showed back up. Somebody had bought it during our show. They had purchased, just like, just like uh, Cosmic Lighthouse purchased this one right now, somebody had bought that one during the show, but the credit card company 
put a hold on it. And so Etsy was like, okay, you made a sale, but don't ship it until it clears. And I said, okay. And then some of the, and the only other time that that's happened, it's happened one other time. The only other time it's happened that the uh, sale got canceled. And I think it was because the credit card company had uh, returned it. Maybe thought it was like fraudulent, whatever. Come down here, big old brush, take it all down one time. Three hairs and some air is all you need just to soften it down, right? Now, Cosmic Lighthouse, please send me a message. How would you like me to finish this painting? What would you like at the bottom? Do you want it to just be like this? You want it to be out in space? We could sprinkle some more stars in there. We could put some clouds at the bottom floating by. We could put a big, oh, that would be neat. If we had like a up close version of a big old white cloud, pinks and blues coming in, just like covering over the, having the waterfall fall kind of behind the cloud, would be very cool if it was coming out in front. That would be very neat. So you, you know me over on Etsy. Send me a message over on Etsy and tell me what you want. Let's see. Now, what I might do, since I have that pinky and, and white color down here, you see that color? With our crimson and our white mix and then our blue mix and stuff. What did she say? Oh, that's somebody else favoriting the store. So why don't we come in and use that same little bit of color, or a bit of grass, and fall off a couple little bits. Let them fall down. I want to really touch our little tree branches back there, right? Maybe we pick up down here. Watch this, we can just dab them off all the way down the little bit of, uh, of our cliff, however far you want to go. I never like going all the same length, you know what I mean? A couple little areas, wherever we don't have grass is where the, you can then throw in um, your uh, texture rocks and stuff like that. Let's see, we got a message. Some clouds would be awesome. I agree, some clouds would be awesome, so let's do that. Let's do that. I want to make these guys bright enough so they stand out, especially when it dries. Sometimes it dries a little bit darker. So let's add them coming in here. And we'll just fall off little bits, just little dabs as they're going down, right? And the more we mix in, the more with the pink, the more with the white. I got to get into your guys' way. There we go. Little dabs as they come off. We got some growing in here. Right? All of them start to come down, grow off our mountain, wherever we choose to place them. Couple little things, right? All we need. Then we're gonna come back and just very lightly dab at them, and so they kind of mix down. A little bit of pressure, right? You can still have them grow down, even just dabbing at that little bit, right? You pick up those little things, all these cool little pieces. Very neat. It's like a like a like a wall of flowers almost, right? Leaving our dark areas. We can't cover everything. Can't cover it all. did think you covered it all, go back in, put a little bit of our original dark color back in there, right? And then you can maybe decide this is a rock. It slid down that way or it came out over here or, you know, whatever, whatever it did. You don't have to have the grass everywhere is the key, all right? And I like to show you guys and then show you how to fix it. Say so you came in, you're like, yeah, I don't really like how that looked. I want to have more rocky bits, right? I'll show you how to fix it and do that. And that's what we like doing over around Paint with Josh. Let's take a little bit of our crimsony white color Mix that up. There we go. Get that little bit of purpley-ish hue. Gorgeous. All right, and we had a bit of rock just back in here. A little piece of it, just a little piece, right? Then we're gonna come down, get all these little bits. As you slide down in different angles, you start sliding out this way, you slide down that way. And all these cool little bits of action happening, right? With the teeniest, tiniest piece of our, of our uh, paint on the brush. It wrapped down there, it ripped around, went over that way. You get these little pieces, little bits, maybe a piece where the birds can sit, hang out, just chill, right? Very cool. You can pull it the other direction, create a different look. All up to you, right? What do you want it to look like? Now we're gonna come over here. Maybe we come up, I wanna put a bit of bushes and stuff up at the top, so maybe we come down around here and we just wrap around, leaving those deep, dark areas, right? Deep darkness. Maybe our bit of mountain came in like this, and then it came down this way. Who knows? You don't have to cover everything. You don't have to show every single piece of the light. It's not going to reach all the way around, right? So don't worry about it so much. You guys always worry too much. Oh, I did this, and then I didn't want to do anything because I thought I was going to ruin it. I hear that all the time. Well, guess what? You're not going to ruin it. Give it a try. See what happens. And then tell me how awesome it came out, right? Very cool. A little bit over here, maybe we had a whole other section, a little flat area. Just pulling it down, really trying to put a little teeny amount of paint on there, nothing too crazy. You don't want to have a whole thick, giant amount of paint, that's for sure. Maybe 
a little brighter on the edge, pulling off the side. Just little differences, differences, differences. Little differences, like little steps climbing up this mountain, right? Little changes, little bright areas, little dark areas, almost like it's floating out there in space. That's awesome. Let's see, I got a mess. Sorry, I got a message from one of the followers watching right now. They messaged me over on Etsy. And so we really like the colors her and her daughter are watching right now. So we really like the colors that you're using, and uh, we think it'd be cool with the blue moon and the green and stuff like that. So I didn't. I didn't reach, I didn't get to check back and see the comments. Do you guys want me to do another one just like this on my spare canvas down here? I went to Michael's. I don't know if you've seen my, uh, my newest TikTok video. I went over to Michael's uh, today and I felt all creepy like walking around with my phone, getting video of me putting stuff in a basket. It always seems funky until you actually put the video together. And you're like, ah, oh, I got you. We got another little bit of flowers pop off down here. But we got to put that darkness underneath, have that deep dark shadow, that even, even into the black. Right? Even unto the end of the world. Frodo. Frodo and Sam. You get a little bit of thickness. Come in there. Gotta have it thick so it will stand off and it will be more. It will stand out away from these guys, right? These guys are gonna look a little flatter. And then here we got our thick part, our, our big thick chunky paint, right? With skin all in the all in it. I can't even get it off now. There we go. All this skin because I let my paint dry over all the time. Right? If you have all this thunky, uh, chunky, thick texture to it, it's going to want to stick better to your highlights, right? And maybe who knows, we fall off, maybe it got bigger over here, right? But we know the buyer wants to have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of cloudage coming in, so we're not going to go too far. A little bit more of the blue and black. All right, maybe we pop in a couple over here. It was a big old bush. It sat down here, started to fall down. And then we decide what we want it to look like, all based off of our pressure, our highlights, our shadows, right? We come up here, gonna hide the bit of where the water comes out from behind that little piece of bush. Over there, just a couple little things, little little differences, little imperfections, right? Little imperfections. And you have to go up over to your mountain with your bush, and that way you can't tell where the water is coming from. If you can see exactly where your water starts and stops, then you haven't really done your job right. Oh, that's gonna be cool. That's gonna be neat. What if we put like another big section of rock over here, almost like a I don't know. Oh, I got so many ideas. So many ideas, guys. All right, we're gonna take a little of our liquid white, dabbing it into our brush, just like that. Gonna come over into our little purpley pinky pile, grab some of our crimson, dab it into the white, into our titanium white as well, because you want to have that right amount of texture so it comes off the brush, back and forth. And then let's see, very light little pressure, right? We can decide. And if you leave those deep dark areas, it helps that color kind of sit off a bit a little bit. Right, then we go more into our pink. Come up into here. There we go. And then fall down wherever you want them to fall down. That's where they're going to fall, right? Almost looks like a flowery hand coming down. Got our rock back there. Got our flowers in here. A little bit more of our white. A little bit more of our crimson. Dabbing them in. We need some more liquid white, though. The liquid white is what helps it pop off of our brush easily, right? And then, so if it starts to, if it takes time and it starts becoming more difficult to get off of the brush, you need more liquid white onto your uh, onto your brush there. That's it. That's the shot right there. All right, then we got a couple little bits from up here, kind of leading in as well, just climbing down from the edge of our mountain all the way down. Very cool. Leaving little areas of rock exposed though. That'll leave those areas of rock exposed. Now we're gonna go into the blue, right, with the same amount of white and crimson. I mean, maybe we'll dab in just a couple little bits of blue right behind and in between. And that way it's not this flat thing, right? It's just not this flat thing. You got some shadows, you got some darker areas, you have some bits and some stuff. And then we'll pop in our blue sections first on this guy. And that's what I like to do. I normally like to pop in the, the shadowy bits first. And I don't like covering all the way to the edge, right? Leave these deep dark areas in here. Gotta have them. Yeah, I just put that dark color brush down so I could pick up the highlight color brush, and guess what? It's all dark too, so we gotta wash these brushes. And while we're washing the brushes, you guys tell me where you're watching from, what's your favorite sandwich, and say, yes, I want you to come back and paint later. Or no, I don't want you to come back and paint later. But if you just say yes and no, I'll forget what I was even asking about, and then I'll come back and I'll go, yes and no what? I don't understand. Do you guys want me to come back and do another painting after dinner? 
a blue painting, an exact, well, they're never exact, but try to do a copy of this one. All right, with blue colors. Let me check the comments here real quick. Let's see, yes, paint later. We got Green Bay, Wisconsin. Oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Come back, I'll be sleeping, but leave the stream up. You're awesome. Let's see, uh, paint later, paint later. Yes, 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 you guys are so cool. After dinner, says Tammy. Tammy Powell over there on YouTube. Coming in from Utah, Dana. I'm from Utah, too. I live in Las Vegas, but I'm originally from Utah, anyway. Very cool. Yes, okay. All right, well, this one's sold, and when that happens, that usually tempts me to come back and paint later because I want to give someone else an opportunity to get one. If I, I always think if it sells during the show, then maybe someone else was like, oh, I was going to get that, right? I really want one, but I, I want an original. I don't want to print. And so I like to come back and try to do it again, right? So we can do an exact, well, not an exact, like I said, but a copy of this one in blues and greens, like blue and phthalo green, oceany colors. It'd be really cool looking. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Or should we do a completely different kind of paint, like a sunset? Uh, oh, I don't know. I've got this one set up. We could do a sunset seascape like we like to do. Um, we could do like a a meadowy kind of river running through to a little waterfall with a, a bright gorgeous sunset sky we could do this in blue we could do all sorts of stuff but you got to tell me what you want to see you got to tell me because I don't know I can paint lots of stuff but if you guys like something specific tell me about it I want to hear it I want to know what you guys want to see and that way you'll sit here and watch it, right? If you don't want to see something, you're not going to sit here and watch it with me. There we go. A couple little flowers right up on the top. Get that color off. I need to get a little bit more crimson out of my paint box down here. Out of the old paint box because I'm running low on crimson. There we go. Get some real deep, dark, crimsony, purpley flowers over here because this one's further away. It's not reaching the light way down here, right? So, in order to fill that guy up, we're going to use much more crimson and much less white to do those guys, this little highlight, right? And what I mean is, we're dabbing it into the crimson, dabbing like one dab into the white. See how that little bit of white on there? Just the littlest bit. And then coming down here, and that way they remain like this kind of deep, dark, maroony color. Right? Way back here in the shadows, they're kind of harder to see. And then we can adjust. You want to have them a little bit brighter? Or just have little bright areas that attract your eye to go, ooh, yeah, it is kind of crimsony under there. I see that. Maybe a little bit of that to cover over our blue section. Little teeny tiny taps, like not even touching. It's just like the tip top of the bristles of the brush, right? A couple of them, not even pushing the whole thing in. We don't want to push the entire bit. That would smush it too hard, right? And I'm all about the right amount of texture and, and pressure. And smushing it too hard is not what you want to do. There we go, a couple little blue flowers back there. Maybe we'll get a little deep dark crimson on the top of that guy just to help it blend together. They're falling off. You wanna see some clouds come in uh, uh, Cosmic Lighthouse? You haven't changed your mind yet? Let's see, if you change your mind, we can do whatever you wanna do. A couple little things, little things, little things. Cosmic Lighthouse is awesome, by the way. She's got awesome videos. She's very pretty. She'll keep you entertained. And she's bought like, I don't know, five, ten of my paintings, something like that. One of my favorite fans for sure. Okay, let's see. Is she gonna message me over here on uh, Etsy or no? Is she gonna message me on Etsy or are we gonna just guess? Let's see. I'm gonna do, I think with the blue one, I'll do the ocean at the bottom coming off of the big mountain. It'd be very cool. Plus, you won't even have to paint a big wave because there's not a lot of big room down here. You know what I mean? All right, Cosmic Lighthouse. She said some clouds would be awesome. I guess she hasn't changed her mind. So, let's come in. Let's mix up a little bit of mist at the base, right? If we want to figure out where the base of our waterfall is or if it just starts to kind of mix in with the cloud. Because all this stuff, it's coming off so thinly that you'd imagine little water droplets are flying everywhere. That's why all these are so beautiful. They're getting fed by all that mist and fog, right? I'm gonna take a little of our white down in here, just a littlest bit, that's probably even too much. Wipe it off on the old palette, right? Come in here, just start making little circles with the smallest amount of our second P. Does anybody know the smallest amount of our second P? 
What's that second P of paint with Josh? Does anybody know? Anybody. Little things, little things, little things, right? Then we can come back and fix at it. Does anybody know the second P? I'm going to give you a follow. I give you a follow if you know the second P. Laddie comes in with pressure. You got to follow from paint with Josh just like that. Right now, I told you we'd had too dang much paint on the brush and we even wiped it and tried to get all the paint off before we went back and it still looked like that, right? So we're going to be very light, very light. And actually, I want to change. I want to get a clean brush. If you need to clean that one, we're going to change to a clean brush. And now you can start to see it'll really mix in with those darker colors because there was no white on this brush. So now we're taking the white that's up here and we're, we're mushing, we're spreading it in. We're getting it all in and mixing it with those other colors that are beneath it, right? But if you have too much white, it'll show too brightly. See the difference? Look at the difference between that and that. Too much paint on the brush, right amount of blending. Not enough blending, perfect blending. Right? All depends on you. I say perfect blending and then I go back and blend it just a little bit more. <laughs> We're going to come down here. Oh, that is so cool. Just taking it into the deepest, darkest places on the camp. Now watch, this area is very bright right here. I'm going to try to pull that brightness and stretch it across this way. We'll see how far we can get it to go with the right amount of pressure. Right? Look at it. Pulling it, which then it diluted this. It made it a little bit darker. Right? Extended it, bringing a little bit more color down. And because we're out here in the clouds, hey, the dryer's done already. That's cool. Because we're out here in the clouds, we're going to put a little bit of paint down there, leaving the, the corner very dark, though. We don't have to see everything that happens down there. Don't got to see it all. What do you think about that, Cosmic Lighthouse? That's a gorgeous little painting right there, if you, ask, if you do ask me, myself. You know what? Oh, I almost want to put, like, a lightning bolt down into the... Because it looks like clouds, but it's not really clouds, Josh. They're... It's just mist from a waterfall. It's not clouds. It's not clouds. It's just mist. So you can't put a lightning bolt coming out of the mist, Josh. That's not going to work. All right, Josh. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. A little bit of that lighter color brush and then a little bit of the dark brush. And we come back in. Very cool. It's almost got like a little bit extra brightness as it's floating out of there anyway. And you can add a little bit, like little brighter areas. Say we came down here. Maybe it was like a, a cosmic lighthouse is into a lot of astrology and stuff maybe it's like a i don't know it's like a lightning bolt of some sort of something wrapping its way up through the thing you make it go any which way you want right like a trail through the mist she'll come up with something i know she will just very lightly mixing it to leave those lighter areas still lighter than the rest right so you can touch it so soft almost looks like there's a lightning that's what we did with our other painting there was a I tried to make it look like you could see the lightning bolt coming through the clouds and then it like erupted out of the cloud at the base uh, where it was brightest. It was very cool. Little bit of color back here, softest amount. Pressure, 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 right? Very neat. That's very cool. I like that. Maybe if we went around this side too. Just a different little thing. It's not a perfect angle, right? It's not a perfect thing. Maybe it's gonna look like a little black hole in there by the time we get done. Never know, just very lightly, so softly. So softly. Just like that, that's kinda of cool. That's kinda of cool, and then you can decide. If you don't like it, come in there and you mix it up a little bit more until you do, right? Ooh, that's starting to look neater. Something like that, I'll pull it down and cross that shadow. Woo! Guys, oh my. Cosmic Lighthouse always knows when I'm going to paint a good one somehow because she always gets the ones, and then when I look at them later, I go, man, I wish I would have saved that one. I'm like, what was I doing? Why did I list that one? I should have saved that thing. Let's put one more little piece of cloud in here. Just a little bit, right? Just all mixing it up all crazily. Don't have too much paint, but we got to have another little piece of depth. Now I'm going to take that darker brush so it'll blend down faster and easier, right? Come from your light area to your darkest and then pop in a new little bit of light. And that'll give you a lot of depth and distance and details, right? Really pushing hard, though, down here. Just wanted to have basically that one little extra bit down there. Just like that. So cool. So cool. Okay. Well, let's start coming up with a title, guys. we got to title this sucker. And uh, Cosmic Lighthouse, some of the time she'll give you a shout-out if she chooses your title. Some of the time she has a title already lined up. She's been watching it just as long as you've been watching it come together, right? And so she's already got this thing lined up in her head about what she wants to name it sometimes and sometimes she'll let you choose so write the name what would you call this painting write the name in the comments below and 
gonna very lightly continue my clouds across the, the side over here. And that way we have a finished, completed canvas for the buyer. And then someone's gonna be looking at it when they go to visit her at their house. They're gonna be coming down the hallway and they're gonna see a little bit of light here, a little bit of light and then just darkness. They're gonna go, what the heck? And it's gonna make them wanna turn around and look. I mean, that's the best part. You gotta make people wanna turn around and see it. So, so stinking neat. I love this painting, guys. So cool. So cool. So I can't wait to come back and do another one. Maybe there's a little cave in there. Maybe in the next one we put a little bit of water down right. Oh, no, oh, Cosmic Lighthouse. Oh, what if we put some water right here? No, it's already got too much paint on. It's already got too much paint. This one's done. Everyone forget I said anything. This one's done, but maybe on the next one we'll have it come down and have it like a little bright blue pool of water or something. Hmm. So I'm gonna come back, we're gonna find the names. What do you guys wanna name it? And then maybe she'll have to message me over on Etsy because uh, it's, sometimes it's hard to see as, as which one she chooses as it comes through. I might, she might be able to pin it too. So what do we got over here? Cosmic Moon Escape over on YouTube. Somebody's watching said Cosmic Moon Escape. That's a really neat one. Uh, what do, I, uh, do, I, do I ever work with acrylic? I mean, the black, I do work with the acrylic black gesso, but not really um, acrylic paint. It dries too fast for me. I like the oils. Um, she already picked a name, and it was a shout out to Kelsey. Okay, where's the name? Uh, bop, 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 bop. Where's the name? Oh, A Night in Cherry Falls with a shout out to Kelsey. That's a cool name. A Night in Cherry Falls or at Cherry Falls? A Night in Cherry Falls. Okay. Grab the marker, and spin it around. You know my favorite part is the, the teeniest, tiniest little stars that you have to really look for. Here we go. All right, the Cosmic Lighthouse, can you type the title in one more time? Uh, no, I think I got it. No, yeah, type it in the comments one more time. And then just pin it, just in case I have to go back and look. This one is number 752. Fantastic little painting, just like that. It's kind of hard to sign it with this big beam in the way, right? So we called it A Night in... See, this is what happens. I got to come back and look. And good, she did it. A Night in Cherry Falls. A Night in Cherry Falls. Here we go. A Night in Cherry Falls. This one's fantastic. And you guys can't even have it because Cosmic Lighthouse already got it. So... Let's all head over to paintwithjosh.com, right? And then once you're over at paintwithjosh.com, head over to my Etsy store, which is paintwithjosh.etsy.com. It'll shoot you right over there. And then you can find all sorts of little stuff, shirts, hats, paintings, prints, all sorts of stuff over in the store, right? Just excellently like that. I'm gonna spin this guy back around because I know you guys already wanna see the front. You're already screaming, show me the front, show me the front, I gotta see it, right? Here we go. This one turned out beautiful. And again, I have another painting, another canvas here, exactly the same size. I'm going to go downstairs. We're going to relax for a minute and uh, prepare for the next show. And then we'll come up and do the exact same size, 15 inches across. So more than a foot long, uh, wide anyway, by almost three feet. This is 30 inches. So 36 inches is three feet. So you got uh, what? A foot and a quarter by two and a half feet. It's a weird, funky thing. But I liked it. I figured it'd be very, a very cool painting for that, you know, size and this style composition of a waterfall here. And so, guys, I'm going to come back later. We're going to do blues and greens and whites on this one, right? Maybe, oh my God, I do have, if you saw my, if you saw my, uh, my TikTok on Face, on the, well, I put it out everywhere. If you saw it on any of my things, my most recent one where I went to Michael's, right? It was a buy one, get two. That's what happened. Get out of here. It was a buy one, get two free sale, right? So we did this one. We do this one in blue. And then we do the next one in green and yellow. Oh. oh. How awesome would that be? Woo! Okay, that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go set them out in the store. And uh, so, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them both active. So if you want the green and yellow one and not the blue one, right? We're doing the blue one next. That's gonna be 753. But if you want the uh, 754, then you can, I'm gonna give it to you. You'll be able to select 754. You're just gonna have to wait until I paint that one after 753. But now that we've done it once already, right? We know everything we want it to look like. 
I just barely did it, so it's fresh in my mind. The next one will go a little bit faster, and then the next one will go even a little bit faster. So you won't have to wait long, but if that sounds like a plan to you guys, tell me in the comments, yes, that sounds like a plan. Uh, we're going to go with our pink and purple, then we're going to go blue and white, and then we're going to go green and yellow. Oh, man, is it going to be pretty. And then I'm going to get an awesome picture of all of them hung up next to each other before I send them out, if, they, if these other two sell anyway. This one's already sold, so I gotta, I gotta at least finish the other two, get them next to this one and take photos, and then, you know, at least we'll have that one good shot. So, uh, let's finish washing off the brushes. We have to add the family, and I'm sure everyone's like screaming, what about the family? I know, they're coming. Let's make them some like pinky, purpley space birds out here. Going through all these different colors. There we go. And if you're wondering about my family, no, I'm not gonna paint a couple of humans out here. Uh, but I represent my family as these three birds, and. They're sort of famous, I guess. When I very first started painting, I didn't, you know, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what was going on, how you were supposed to sign. I bought one of those wax pouring things with like the letter stamper and I was stamping the bottom of the canvas. What? What are they doing? Wasting my time and money doing that. Oh, it's just crazy. And so I was like, okay, I'll add these little birds, right? And they'll represent myself. Cause we had just lost uh, my, my ex-wife's mom. We had just lost her and I, it was, everybody was like deep into family. Almost looks like that shooting star right there in the back is another bird. It's not, it's not, trust me. We did that in one painting too. We're not gonna talk about that. So yeah, the, uh, you know, I decided to represent them as myself, London and our gorgeous daughter, Bailey. And they go into every painting as part of the city. That's how we fly around. It's the only reason, the only way we really get to travel. And I'm serious when I say that. Every time we ever travel on vacation, it's usually Bailey and I go somewhere to, to see family and London stays home with the animals and stuff. And we've always had so many animals, it's too expensive to board them somewhere. You can't count on friends and family to come do it for you, right? And uh, so one of us would always have to stay back, and she was the sweet one, and always let me go and take Bailey somewhere, and, uh, and she would hang out with the animals. So this is the only way we get to travel, point being. Point of the story is, this is the only way we get to go anywhere all together. Even though we're not together anymore, we're still always going to be together. Always have Bailey. She'll always be part of our lives, right? No doubt about it. I'm thinking, thinking down here in the corner. We put our little signature down here. Do our little, do our little funky squat. A little funky squat to sign. Here we go. Hey, very cool. Well, guys, I love this one, and I love you, and I love Cosmic Lighthouse, and I love all of the followers. I love all of you guys. So, if you didn't hear uh, about what happened to Bailey with the nail glue in her eye, go check that out. It's on my TikTok page right at the top. One of the very first few videos. And uh, it, she literally, I was painting a scene. I was painting this scene, actually, right here. Painting this scene that Melanie purchased. And I just got done with this last bit. That's all the thing I needed to add. And then I had to come back later and add the birds. But she came in and, uh, and said that she got, she got nail glue in her eye. And it took my brain a minute to go, what? And I was like, oh. But, and she's like this, like, I shut, crying, like, I'm like, oh, okay, emergency, go, shut the streams, and we left, we went to the doctor, so if you want to see that story, go check it out on my TikTok page, uh, and I think I put it on my Facebook page and my Instagram page, so any one of those you can go find it on, it's too long of a video for YouTube, YouTube only allows you to do uh, 60 second shorts, right, and a lot of times, especially now that we're bigger on TikTok and bigger on uh, Facebook, people will watch the videos for a longer duration, right, if you're just barely starting out, and you put out a two hour long video. I mean, it's even my two hour long videos, people still scroll through, they don't watch every single second of the video, which is again, a good, t a good tip for people, anybody that wanna start doing your videos and stuff, don't worry about what you say, right? Don't worry about it. Because most of the time, no one's even watching you. They've scrolled past that section to get to a really good section that, that they wanted to see, right? So if you're sitting there and you're like, man, and then I did this, and it was like, and you just, don't stop your stream, right? Don't, because, Chances are, just act like it didn't happen and keep going. And chances are, nobody will even have caught that bit, right? So, uh, I can't say I've never farted up here on camera. I don't have to now, otherwise I would try. But, I've never done it, but I have flubbed up my words and said, you know, I call stuff a dip. I'm like, oh, we'll take the palette knife here and we'll come up and I go, just keep going, just keep going. No one's, no one cares, just keep going. They didn't even see that bit, it's fine. I go, all right, we're gonna take our, uh, we're gonna take our liner brush here. We're gonna go make some mountains. And you're like, liner brush with a mountain? This isn't a liner brush, this is a palette. Ugh. So don't worry about it, don't stop. Do not pause, right? 
The pause gives the audience that thing that goes, oh, they did they know they just messed up right there. Right? Just blast through. Power on, baby. Power on. Because right now, I guarantee when somebody goes to watch this part on YouTube and they're re-watching the stream, zip, they would have scrolled all the way past this or they would have turned it off by now because we've already signed it. So no one's even watching. No one's watching this right now. You could literally do whatever. I see to pick my nose with the brush if I wanted to, right? But I don't. It hurts. I've tried it. No, I haven't tried it. I'm kidding. Okay. Well, we signed this one. We uh, we did everything. We're trying. I was cleaning the brushes. That's what I was doing. You guys got me all distracted. It's your fault and the medication and you know everything else. But it's your fault mostly that got me distracted from cleaning the brushes. So we've signed it. We've named it. It's got a gorgeous name to it, and it's just one of my favorites. I can tell you so far. So we're gonna do a blue one, and then we're gonna do a green one right on top of each other. Uh, not in this exact stream though. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna turn the stream off. I gotta go make a post, take a photo, put it out on Facebook. Say, hey, if you wanna, if you like this one, we're gonna be doing two more. Come over on TikTok and watch us. Come over on YouTube and find us. Blah blah blah. All right. I wonder how, because we did. Normally, I do my YouTube videos like uh, landscape mode, so you can put them up on a TV. But on a very thin canvas like this, landscape mode makes the, you know, it makes it look much smaller. You can't see any of the detail. And so on YouTube today, we turned it to portrait mode, which I usually never film in. So I'm wondering, do you guys on YouTube? Are you liking that view or do you normally watch it on a on a TV and you don't like the view of how it is portrait? I know everybody over here on TikTok just loves it. Oh my god, Josh, what? What did I say, Jeremy? What did I say? Why are you laughing at me? What did I say? And don't worry, Cosmic Lighthouse. These these everything looks so bright on the TikTok camera. It's not as bright as it looks, right? This is much more pink. The pink, you got deep dark purples versus very bright looking grayish purples. It's, it's gonna change. When, it, when you see it in real life, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. I wonder what Jeremy, did he, did he comment, did he tell me what he was laughing about? What was Jeremy laughing about? Reminds me of Avatar, yes, that's cool. That is cool. Oh, the pick your nose thing, that's funny. Let's see, can't wait to see it. Cosmic Lighthouse, she's a star. If I could follow you twice, Cosmic Lighthouse, I would. I would follow you twice over, just because you're that awesome, right? So, this one needs to be cleaned. What am I doing? You guys got me all off track. Got me all off track over here. I gotta go downstairs. I gotta focus, if you know what I mean. I gotta focus, and then we gotta come up and do some wicked, just wicked blue. These ones are already cleaned, good. Blue and, uh, and green. Oh man, I have this other easel right back behind you guys that Melanie sent me through my Amazon wish list. I just haven't put it together yet, because it's, it, it's really cool. It should hold. Right, at least it shows on the box anyway, that it holds a painting on the top and then a painting on the bottom as well. You guys know how I like to, I'll hang a painting like this and I'll just take it and we'll hang it from these little hooks right here. Just to, just to show, right? Well, this other easel holds both tight so you could paint on them. So we can do a painting up here. We can even do a waterfall painting that starts up here and then comes down here and we finish it off the other canvas, right? Onto its, its new little canvas. That would be cool. And then you gotta hang them. You need like a real long space on your wall to be able to hang both of them underneath each other. But that would be, it's a cool thing. So I, I really got to put that easel together at some point. I got to edit more videos. I kind of just, do you guys like that I paint every day? Or do you want me to stop? And you should be like, just take a break. Just, just paint once a week, Josh. I don't think that I could. I, I would literally go stir crazy. I would finish all my videos in two days. And I'd be like, okay, I got to paint. <laughs> so, all right, let's, uh, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Uh, YouTube guys, thank you for tuning in. Let me know in the comments or when you, it won't show me the comments live when I go to like rewatch it. It doesn't let me reply to the live comments. So if you're watching on YouTube, when, as soon as the stream ends, let it like kind of uh, refresh your thing and then hit the thing to watch it again. It may take a minute or two, but if you could just leave a comment or go comment on Facebook when we post a picture and say either yes or no, did you like it this vertical way or did you want it, you know, normally, even if it, it shrinks what you can see and you have to be further back, would you like it, you know, so you can watch it on a TV, or do you mind it being in the uh, in the portrait mode? Let me know in the comments when we post it on Facebook. I love you guys so much, and don't worry, I won't be gone long. I'll be back up. I think we're gonna order a pizza, Bailey. 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 She might be downstairs. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe her lips are sealed shut with nail glue. I'm gonna have to go check. So I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you. We'll be back hour not not too crazy right it's what seven right now well 659 for me so about to be seven maybe by eight we'll be back up here 
Uh, so wherever you are, give me about an hour. And um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Can't wait to see you guys. Take care. Have the rest of a good day. And look at that. Just waterfall. Oh, crap. I about fell. Oh, God. I almost fell. I fell. I'm going to knock the cameras over.